Hi YouTube, it's me, your man Uncle Dennis from the soccer number 10.com. In this video, we'll be disclosing uh, how to improve your finishing. First of all, we will try to understand what is finishing and many of the misconceptions about finishing, uh, emotional, your emotional tendencies while you are about to finish, and our execution of your finishing, so to speak. Now, let's plunge deeply into this quick study. All right, now finishing is basically let's say your teammates are has the ball and you have been through a series of touches like one touches true passes and you got a breakaway and you're in the half of the, your your opponents we would consider it uh, enemy's territory so to speak and you got got away you got a breakaway on the flank the left flank the right flank and now you are in the 18 yard box and you manage to miraculously dribble down there and it's now time to take a shot in European soccer we call it finish where how you finish the the, the, the all that build up everything now is in your hands you're on your feet it's at your feet you gotta top the ball into the back of the net and if you finish and score the goal that was a marvelous finish it was an amazing no matter what you did, you scored the goal so you had finished well. Now, finishing is in, 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 in the aggressive term. It's, it's basically mean how you execute, you, you put a dagger in the heart of your opponent. You know, let's say it was a championship where the score was 2-2 two, two, and you needed to score that one goal to, to, to win the finals. And you managed to break away in and everyone was there and ah, oh, watching you dribble. And then you just top the ball into the back of the net. That was an amazing finishing. And the clock just go out. The time ran out and they, they won the game because of that miraculous finish execution. Now, many soccer players and average soccer players, so to speak, and even professional soccer players sometimes, and even authors somehow have this misconceptions that... Uh, Finishing is basically shooting and kicking. It's still the same thing that you have to do when you uh, tap the ball into the back of the net. But finishing takes on a whole different dynamic. De sorry, finishing takes on uh, many different dynamics, so to speak, emotional tendencies. Because the the, the 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 anticipation builds up once you have the ball, and it's the last shot you have to score. For example, you're facing the keeper. All of a sudden you might somehow have a mental relapse and you don't know what to do and you kick the ball to the keeper and you might have seen this in many games you 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 kick the ball too hard because you were your timing was totally off so there are many different dynamics that you have to pay attention to when you're implementing and or when you're about to execute your finishing so it's not just kicking or shooting at goal to execute a finishing all these are dynamics or all these are parts of the puzzle to, to to exhibit finishing so please do not fall into this category of not understanding finishing in total in, in its entirety now when you are finishing you got to understand that your emotion you got to be relaxed you got to be in the right frame of mind when you're taking this shot at goal because if you take a shot and you, you're too anxious, you are rushy. This is a tendency that many soccer players have. They've dribbled, they got, they got away, they're in the 18 yard box of their opponents. And it's now time to tap the ball in. And they're so rushing that they overlook the, the real calculations and the combinations that they can do to score the goal. And they rush and kick the ball to the keeper or kick the ball over the goal or kick the ball away from the goal. And you have seen this in many matches. Now, what I want you to take from this video is 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 this execution. When you are in the 18-yard box, sometimes you just don't know. If you feel the impulse that say kick the ball, try not to just resist it. It's already calculated. Take the shot. Don't question it. Take the shot, follow through. And if your body is in the right approach like let's use the right term in soccer if you approach the ball at the right angle in a position and you're about to kick it make sure you follow through and keep the line 
off the shot on bowl. If you're a professional player, you I know you gave me a thumb up for that one. But um, what I'm basically saying is you need to be totally relaxed in the 18 yard. If you don't, if, if you're too anxious, chances are you might kick the ball away. Now, the reason why I say to be relaxed while you are in the enemy's territory, your opponent's territory, it's, it's quite simple because once you're in their 18 yard box, the alarms are going off into these defenders' heads. Beep, 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 beep. Danger, danger. The ball is near. If this guy can take a shot at goal. This guy can score. It's our job to get him out of here. Our job to get him out of here. These are crazy things that goes on into the into your into the defenders' heads. And what you need to do is, if you're relaxed and allow the defenders to move towards you and attack, and you're totally relaxed and you are able to man maneuver yourself by doing your tricks and get into a position where you can finish, that's very effective. But if you panic because all the defenders are running towards you, then you are a chicken and you are afraid. And if you turn around and pass the ball back into your area and hope that you can run a beat behind these defenders, you're going to be half side. Just face the defenders. If you're going to try to trick them, trick them one at a time. Trick them with angles. Get them on the angle, make the space. Get into the space, create the pass, and you know all these things because these are things that are taught in every soccer training from basic level, and these are the fundamentals of soccer. But as you start to develop your mind into the real soccer uh, mechanics and dynamics, then you understand that in finishing, it's important for you not to be afraid. You need to be relaxed. You need to have your emotional tact. You need to be emotionally tacked, so to speak. You cannot manage to dribble down into the 18-yard box, and you're about to take the shot, and then all of a sudden, you just go blank. You just act stupid. You kick the ball away. You do something dumb. And if this has happened to you in soccer, it's not because you just don't know what to do. It's just because the pressure. All of a sudden, now you got away, and you're, oh, my God. Oh, oh, I'm in the 18. And you're panicking. And if you are a talented soccer player, you would not panic in these areas. You just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Go in, enjoy yourself, and play for fun, but still play to win. Ah. So I hope and trust that this video on finishing have somehow opened your eyes towards seeing how important it is to be relaxed, how important it is to be sound in your emotions once you got away or you are in the 18 yard box and you're about to take a shot and you're facing the keeper who is doing numbers like this trying to trick you just be patient quickly make sure you're listening behind you fast with your ears to hear your defenders that you just passed and always expect to pull on the shirt once you're in the 18 yard box and the push in the back once you get it do not dive like Cristiano Ronaldo and those other guys just be composed, move with the push, and take the shot at goal, or just get the balance and focus, relax, and take a shot at goal. My name is Dennis Lee. I know this finishing tip might seem unusual to you, but it's very informative. Revisit, rewatch this video. Apply these systems that I've just made mention of. They're very important. Do not get over excited once you get the ball in the 18 yard box and you got a breakaway and you're about to take a shot it happens to the best of us but if you learned from past experiences that you need to be relaxed and you need to understand that when you're finishing you're trying to make sure that you stamp the seal of approval on the game that look i know what i'm doing I have been into training. I know that I can score this goal. And then rip the ball into the net and rip that net into two with that power shot or with that gently tap on the ball at an angle and let it roll into the goal where the keeper cannot save that ball. Enjoy your soccer life. Bye. See you in other videos.